There is a big difference between using a computer and actually understanding how it works or is programmed. Many of us tend to just consume technology, and children copy this behavior because they are learning from those who are often intimidated by technology, like their parents or teachers. How do we break this cycle? I wanted to make sure that a child starting a school today would not look back in 30 years, regretting that they have not considered learning programming as an option for themselves, like myself. Later in life, when I realized that programming is a superpower, I began to think, how can we make learning programming as natural as learning a language? And what if we could make it possible for children to be creative with technology at the same age when they learn how to read and write. And I knew I have to try to, try to make it possible. <laughs> Children learn their first foreign language often in kindergarten or in a primary school. And usually they progress very quickly because they are not afraid of making mistakes or mispronouncing world, words like all the children or adults do. They are learning unconsciously and speaking a foreign language becomes natural to them. My co-founders and myself wanted to make creating with technology natural for the next generation. So we decided to do it at the age which would make it a truly natural experience in kindergarten and in primary school. And we wanted to make it an engaging play. <laughs> Inspired by Lego, we decided to make it possible for children to build their own technology. How? by creating blocks they can use to build their own robots. We call them Robo-Wunderkind building blocks. We take electronic components and put them inside colorful, child-friendly building blocks. By snapping those blocks together, children create their own robots. We have blue motor blocks, yellow light blocks, red sensor blocks, in order to make programming experience very intuitive for young children, we decided to use a visual programming interface. It uses symbols instead of words, so no reading skills is required. And it follows the same color logic, so all commands connected to motors are in blue. Conditions, which require sensors, are in red. With Robo Wunderkind, we are breaking a complex world of robotics and coding down to its basic elements. And one of the very early projects we recommend, it's a welcoming robot. For that, we need a brain, uh, ultrasonic sensor. It measures the distance to an obstacle, to an object in front of it, LED light and a button. And I programmed my robot to greet me, to react to my hand by making a sound and lighting up. Let's take a look. Hi, robo. And now I will interact with it. I will press a button to switch off the light. <laughs> Those robots are cute and friendly. But by building them, children understand one thing. Technology is not magic. It just follows a certain principles. And by learning those principles, early in their lives, they will be understand a larger and more complex ones later down the line. So once welcoming bot is built, we'll move on and add some motors and LED matrix, and now we have a robot that can move and also show emotions. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> our small robot is still happy, and so are children playing with our building blocks. And what we personally found very, very fascinating is that children are not afraid of technology. Adults are. Children building with Robo Wunderkind building blocks go on and create amazing projects, like a robot that give, can give massages to animals that just underwent a surgery. Hi, I'm Meredith. I'm six years old, and for this week's challenge, 
I built a robot that brushes pets after surgery. Or a robot that would cut wooden logs into lumber, an important part of a supply chain. or a robot that would join a musical performance. Because why not? Today, children in 500 schools in more than 20 countries are building, playing and learning with our building blocks. And I find it fascinating to see how they master technology and how they come up with ideas and projects that we never had. In order to make a lasting change, to make sure that future generations are not afraid of technology, we need to give them a possibility to be creative with it early on and we can make building and programming robots a children's game. Thank you.